Hey guys, it's David Miller from Primordial Creative Studio and I am here to tell you about one of my favorite mobile apps. This is something I've been using a lot recently. It is Adobe Photoshop Mix and this is one of three Photoshop apps that you can put on your smartphone or your tablet. One of the reasons why I'm using this a lot lately is because I do a lot of my editing at my workplace and I don't have access to my MacBook Pro on a regular basis. Photoshop Mix is ideal for doing cutouts and in this case I'm photographing a He-Man figure to use his legs as part of some animation. When I do animation sometimes I do things that are drawn but a lot of times I like to assemble photographs in Adobe Character Animator. I was shooting my He-Man guy in the light, he was in focus, the background was out of focus. Uh, it doesn't really matter if that's your scenario, but of course the cleaner your shooting environment, the easier it is to do any kind of cutout work. So let's go ahead and open up the leg and we switch over to cutout. We're going to use a smart brush. We're going to use subtract and I'm just going to draw with my finger around his leg. As you can see, it does a really good job of catching the pixels you want to catch. I'm going in with the basic brush to refine my edges. I do have a little bit of feathering set up, so by the time I send this over to the Creative Cloud and my Photoshop app, it's going to have one to two pixels feathered edge. I don't remember exactly what it is on this, but that's something that's pretty easy to set up here. Now, if you were timing me doing my cutout here, and if I were to do this on the computer, I'm actually getting a lot faster on the mobile app than I am on Photoshop on the computer. And I have to tell you guys, I've been using Photoshop since 1995. So the fact that they've got this real easy, quick fix is something that I'm really pleased with. When I create characters for animation, I need to make sure that I have all the parts that I want to move on separate layers. So I want this guy to have a walk cycle. I want him to be able to maneuver his legs without changing the rest of his body. And that's why I'm doing this to both a right leg and a left leg. If I send it straight to Photoshop, it is going to have the alpha channel, which is that checkerboard behind the leg. And the alpha essentially means there's nothing there. Now I'm going to show you some owl heads that I've been cutting out because I want to create a character animator owl puppet. And these were a variety of photos I shot over many years. It's not the same owl, there are different zoos, but uh, I'm going to need every part of the owl if I want to make a complete animatable owl. When I choose Send to Photoshop CC, it saves a copy in the Creative Cloud and then it opens it up on my computer. And of course, my phone is near my computer when I do this, but I instantly have access to all the photos that I just edited on my phone and the project is saved, so if my phone turns off or I didn't send it to Creative Cloud right away, it's already saved as a project on my phone, which is very useful. Uh, there might be some further cleanup I need to do in the computer, but believe me when I say having the basic cutout done makes me a lot more enthusiastic about doing this kind of drudge work on my computer. When it opens it up in Photoshop, it has a clipping mask on it and what you need to do is apply that mask if you have no further alterations you need to make. If there's things that you want to expand on the mask or contract or you want to change the feathering, you certainly have the opportunity to do so right now. The cutout feature is primarily what I wanted to talk about today, but there are other features in Photoshop Mix and I highly encourage you to explore it. So if you are an Adobe desktop user, if you're in Photoshop, Illustrator, Lightroom, etc, etc, I highly encourage you to download and look into the apps they have for the mobile devices. Because not only are they great time savers, such as this one, but they integrate very well with the desktop apps. They talk to each other. And that is something that's incredibly important to me as a creative person.